This video was brought to you in part by the supporters of the AMTV Patreon. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to the IDENT Review Extra, the spin-off show that takes a look at one individual IDENT each episode and gives it the review it deserves. And this time around, we're embarking on a journey through the ITV network and all the different regional stations that comprised it. And this time, we're travelling to the east of England to tune into Anglia Television. Launching in 1959, Anglia would serve to be the primary commercial franchise holder in the east of England for ITV. It was the 11th station to launch under the ITV network and would quickly gain a reputation for producing high quality programming. But perhaps what Anglia is best remembered for today is the on-screen identity it used for decades. So without wasting any more time, let's take a look back at just how Anglia presented itself over the years. In 10 minutes, it's Vice inside Britain's sex business. Now Vice, which contains scenes of a sexual nature. Truly a night on the box, eh? Right from its beginnings in 1959, Anglia utilised the knight and horse motif, which seems incredibly simple, but proved to be immensely iconic. The constant focus on the knight and horse, panning around with different angles, finishing on the knight's flag, which bears the station name, feels completely natural, soothing in some respects, but also quite rousing with Handel's water music blaring throughout. Sometimes idents work when they have a calm, almost understated musical soundtrack, but I have to say in Anglia's case, the loud, bombastic music works really well. In the 1950s and 60s, a lot of idents on the ITV network comprised of basic shapes, or in some cases, just text but for Anglia to use such a visually strong identifier in the form of the knight clearly left an impression. The motif covered over into the era of colour television. With the region getting colour in late 1970, the knight could now be seen in blue and silver as opposed to the various shades of monochrome. In terms of the actual sequence, hardly anything was changed at all. Same rotation, same music, similar camera angles, you get the drill. Amazingly, the knight ident would last for Anglia all the way until 1988, some 39 years after it was first introduced one of the longest for any ITV franchise holder. But in an era where computer-generated idents were becoming the norm, Anglia would have to eventually follow suit. What followed the night would be a stylized A symbol, comprised of several different coloured triangles, along with a new piece of music. The final image of a waving CG flag looks really nice and slick, but I can't help but see the Triforce from the Legend of Zelda series right in the centre. But I can imagine after nearly four decades of use, audiences must have taken considerable time to get used to this new motif one that lacked the iconic image that audiences in the East had grown to love. 
The new image would also be seen as part of the generic ITV ident, which was introduced in 1989, and compared to some other regions, I think the new Anglia logo fits the motif really well. The new sequence would last through the 1990s, up until 1999 in fact. By this time, Anglia, along with many of the ITV franchise holders, would adapt the Heart Ident, which lasted until 2002. It was at this time that the vast majority of the network would operate under the ITV name, with all individual regional identities being removed. So after nearly 50 years, the name and image of Anglia would no longer be regularly seen by viewers in the east of England. Anglia serves as a great example of a station that didn't need to change its visual identity all too often, primarily because their initial attempt was so strong. By today's standard, the knight on horseback may seem downright primitive to some, but back in 1959, it proved to be instantly memorable, and infinitely watchable to those who could tune in. Not every broadcaster could claim to run virtually the same ident for nearly 40 years without any alteration whatsoever, so for that reason amongst others, Anglia remains to this day one of the most easily and fondly remembered franchise holders in the history of the ITV network. And so that brings us to the end of another episode of the Ident Review Extra. If you enjoyed this look back at Anglia, then please leave a like, comment your thoughts below, and subscribe to the channel for lots more Ident related content. I've been Adam Martin from AMTV, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Well, that does bring us to the end of another day here on AMTV. We do hope you enjoyed the programme, and a special thank you to our patrons for helping to support the show, and to everyone who's tuned in. Until the next broadcast, we wish you a good night.